Hello, welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. I'm Jeff Phillips. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Inkscape's grids extension to really quickly produce a grid such as the one here. So I'll click on this and delete it. It's grouped, so just clicking anywhere will delete the whole lot. I'll zoom out one to one and let's get started. We go to Extensions, Render, and Grids, and then Cartesian Grids. So I'll just pause for a minute so you can see that. Render, under Extensions, Render, Grids, Cartesian Grid. Then this window will pop up. The main thing I think in this window is the number of major X divisions. So even though it's pixels, I think of it as um, centimetres. So if I wanted a 10 centimetre wide grid, I'll put 10 here. I think the rest of these settings are good, so perhaps take note of these. 20, 10, 1, 1, 0 0.7, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 1 up here. Same in the y-axis, all the settings are the same except for this 15 here. So as I said before, think of it as a 10 by 15 grid and leave the rest of the settings the same. Click apply and close and that's pretty dark because it's so small but don't worry about that because we'll go up here and we'll ensure this padlock is locked it's open there that keeps the length and width proportional so then I change the width to 10 remember that from the previous windows and press enter and <laughs> it goes the wrong way I've, um, shrunk it, I meant to make that 110 centimetres is 100 millimetres up here. Press enter and there we go. I'll just move that into position and there you've got a, a very neat grid with minimal effort. I'll just delete it again and show you another type of grid I use. Extensions, render, grids, Cartesian grid. If you want a full page, I think the best settings for the x-axis width uh, 180 uh, sorry make it 18 and in the y-axis make it 25 and apply close I'm just zooming out now really we wanted to make the width if I go up here keep that padlock locked the width 180 if I press enter, notice that the height is automatically 250. And that's as pretty close to a full page as we can get allowing for borders. I just go to align as distribute relative to the page. I put it in the centre vertically and horizontally. And there you can see a full page grid. That's for a millimetre grid spacing. If you want uh, finer, you can adjust the settings in the extension window. I should also mention that if you wish to change the formatting or thicknesses of any of these lines, here's how we do it. If it's the border, just zoom in and control click because it's already grouped. To select something within a group, we control click and then go to the fill and stroke menu and type in a border. If I wanted one millimetre, I'd do something like that. If the fine lines here, I wanted them a bit thicker or different, I go to edit select same stroke style and then they're all selected and I can you know bump them all up actually I'm trying to no I can't it's, no, it's very slow that's why control Z if I wanted to make them all <coughs> 0.1 of a millimeter press enter or 0.2 you see I can adjust them that way so this select same option is very handy. I'll delete this grid and show you once more, zoom out to see the page width. Extensions, render, grids, Cartesian grid. If I didn't want the millimetre spacing, if I wanted a, a grid line every two millimetres, I have this subdivision number here, make it five spacings and the same for the x-axis. 5, apply, close, and remember I've got to make that, it was 18 in the extension box, but it's millimetres here, so 180, the padlock closed for proportionality, enter, 
and under align and distribute center for, on a vertical axis and horizontally and you can see there I've got a bit clearer grid which is the more typical graph paper. So I hope that's useful and as always thanks for watching.